We are here. We're at Costco because the other week on Instagram, I was showing my favorite things that I get here. And you guys loved it. You said do a haul video on YouTube. So I'm a man of the people. Let's get past that guardian of the gates, AKA the middle-aged man or woman, <laughs> and do our thing, baby. Costco, baby. I'm like a kid in a candy store here. It must be like the free samples, all this abundance of good stuff that half of it I don't even need. But we're gonna check out 10 of my favorite items here at Costco for healthy meal prep in a home. We're also gonna check out like five items that you think might be healthy, but you gotta stay away from. Now, there are free samples waiting. There's tons of stuff to do, so let's get our shopping on, baby. The first thing I want you to avoid here at Costco are these rotisserie chickens. I know the lure, look at that art. $4.99 is an amazing price. The problem is no whole cooked rotisserie chicken should be $4.99, that's way too cheap. This sucker is pumped full of preservatives, chemicals, God knows how many hormones are in here. And the thing is, look here, Art, at the ingredients. Modified food starch, sugar, dextrose, or easier is to buy chicken thighs, roast them at home, and then shred that to make chicken salad. I have two recipes that do that. That's unbelievable. Instead of buying a rotisserie chicken, what should we buy instead? What should we do? Exactly, I gotta give you the alternative. So roast your own chicken thighs would be the easiest thing, but buying like a broiler chicken and roasting that whole and then shredding would be even better. Okay. So that's how Thank we do you. it. We got Thank it. You. <laughs> All right, this is officially the coldest room in Costco, but there's a really good buy here in the form of Kerrygold Irish butter. If you're a butter fan, if you're a fat fan, if you're on keto, you better be, buy European style butter. It has a higher percentage of butter fat. Fat is flavor. When you buy American style butter over here, it has lower fat and more water. So number one, you're paying for water. Number two, the flavor isn't there. The one thing I don't love about the Kerrygold I have here is that it's gold. When it's gold, that means, look, it's salted. When I cook, I like to control the amount of salt in my food. But the thing is, the savings are so good, it's still worth it to buy it. Now, before we freeze our butt off, let's go to the one thing you should avoid here in the Kula. It's the organic eggs. People think this is the best deal because you get two dozen for $6. On the surface it is, but looks can be deceiving. Like, oh, they're brown, they're organic, they must be good. They're not. There's a website called the Cornucopia Institute and these are rated about as low as they get because just because they're organic doesn't mean they're happy chickens who run all around and play in the sun. They're actually cooped up in a cage, fed an organic diet of corn and they can't even move. Chickens are supposed to be pasture raised, or roaming around, having a good time, hanging out with their friends, not cooped up eating corn and grain. So I like to buy organic eggs from Whole Foods called Vital Farms. They're literally twice the price of this, but they're happy eggs that taste better. So stay away from this, even though I've seen about 20 people walk by and get eggs in their cart. Want these? Oh, oh, yeah. oh two, yeah, here you go. But I'm trying to tell people they're not the best quality organic ones. People buy them, but they're really not the highest quality organic. They're the right. highest quality organic you have at Costco? That is true, it is the highest quality here at Costco. You want some organic like you? Yeah. I gotta... I don't know how you end up doing this, but... The Cornucopia Institute only ranks a one out of five. Like this pasteurized pomegranate juice, Palm Wonderful, it's sugar water you're paying for. Uber Greens Organic Suja Juice. Unless it's cold pressed, from your house and you're drinking it immediately, forget about it. This has been sitting here forever. You're paying for sugar water. Acai, Brazilian sugar water. Kombucha, it makes me gassy and fart. Other kombucha, it's got weird ingredients, not just tea and mother kombucha in there. And cold brew coffee, God knows how much sugar they have in there. Listen, man, I don't know when it became socially acceptable to start charging like 10 or 12 bucks for these cold pressed organic juices at these like hipster places, but that ain't cool, okay? I don't, I don't roll like that, but I do roll with this art. Look, this bacon here is really good. If you're gonna buy bacon, you gotta buy thick cut bacon. It's the only way to go. If it's not thick cut, you're not doing it right. And you're also not doing it right if you buy this. If you ever buy fully cooked bacon that you put in the microwave, Shame on you, because that is just so wrong, dude. So wrong. All right, let's find something good we can talk about now. 
a healthy snack. It's very good to know. Healthy, yeah, thank you so healthy. much. Appreciate You're that. Mmm, nutritious. <laughs> and delicious. Nut butters are a must buy at Costco. I'm on Team Creamy. Thankfully, they have organic creamy peanut butter here for the ridiculous price of two 28 ounce jars for $9.99. Even more ridiculous, because if you're on keto, you need almond butter, is the price on this almond butter. It's a 27 ounce jar for eight bucks. At Trader Joe's, a 16 ounce container is almost $6. So the price is so right. And we have so many recipes that use this. So make sure you stock up on your almond butter and your peanut butter here at Costco because you can't do better than that. All right, 307. This is the money aisle, except for this. What is this? Nobody needs this. No one needs fired booty in this size. <laughs> booty is a good thing. <laughs> okay, no one needs that much booty in their life. But they, no, they're not, I'm not buying it. But they do need almond flour. If you're keto or you're gluten-free, almond flour is your best friend. Even more of a BFF situation is this price. Look at this, $3.96 per pound. At Whole Foods in the bulk section, it's $7 a pound. At Trader Joe's, it's $7.50 a pound. I saw this for the first time like a month ago and fell in love. I bought three bags. Desi makes her keto biscotti out of these, her keto and gluten-free crackers. We make gnocchi out of this. There's so many amazing recipes we have using almond flour, so don't buy one, buy two because you're gonna plow through it. Now, continuing down aisle 307 here, this is where the magic happens, Art. Spices, look at this. Ground turmeric, oregano, basil. You guys know I love spices, but it's actually on my do not buy list here at Costco because ground spices start to lose their flavor after three to six months. And I don't care how much you're cooking at home, how much you're meal prepping. Are you gonna go through that much cumin in six months, Art? I'm no, we're definitely without the cinnamon or cumin challenge. You're not gonna go through that much cumin. So by the time you get halfway through, it's gonna lo lose its power. At the uh, bulk section of Whole Foods, they sell spices by the ounce. And luckily in Chicago or any major city, they have spice houses where you can buy by the ounce. So just buy a couple ounces, use it, and then replenish it. Otherwise, it's gonna go bad. All right, oil, oil, oil. Let's grab some coconut oil because the extra virgin coconut oil, uh, coconut oil here is the best price ever. And it's really, really good quality. But there's also some oils here that are not good quality, such as canola oil and vegetable oil. The reason, there's a reason why you can buy two three quart bottles. This is like enough to lift weights with for $7.79 and $6.89 because this stuff is cheap as balls. It's a highly, highly processed oil that uses a chemical solvent to extract the oil from the vegetables. It's really, really bad for you. Like if you read into it, because it's such a highly processed oil, it can change the molecular structure of the oil and totally mess with your body. So if you're gonna deep fat fry, it's really tempting to use this, but if I have something else here, Art, that I'd rather use, it's a Mediterranean blend that has, look at this, canola, olive, and grapeseed. So at least the canola is cut with olive and grapeseed. So if you're gonna deep fry, do that. I always buy my olive oil here and my extra virgin. This is such a great price. I use olive oil for cooking, extra virgin olive oil for finishing. It's a good price, you gotta buy it, yeah. It's the best price you're ever gonna find. It's a really good extra virgin olive oil, I agree. It's the only one I use you. Yeah, do you buy your avocado oil here too? Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Well, I used to buy my avocado oil here, but recently this Costco changed suppliers. They used to have uh, chosen foods, organic, uh, not organic, it was cold pressed, extra virgin, amazing quality, less than half the price of Trader Joe's, but recently they swapped it for Marianne's. Listen, I'm sure Marianne's a nice lady, but it doesn't say that it's cold pressed. It doesn't say that it's extra virgin. It doesn't even say what it is. I talked about this on Instagram. Some people at their Costco, wherever they live, still have chosen foods. If they have that, great. But right now this is on my do not buy list because I'm not sure how they get the oil out. You gotta buy your nuts here. It's obvious. I mean, look, pecans, uh, almonds, all those nuts are the most obvious deal here ever, but store them in your fridge or your freezer because nuts contain volatile uh, 
essential oils that can go rancid over time. And if you store them at room temperature, they'll go much more rancid quickly. Now there's one thing, Art, never buy, in my opinion, the organic pine nuts at Costco. Art and I talked about this on Instagram last week and it caused some controversy because the problem is these are from China and China has been known to use a breed of pine nuts that really aren't pine nuts. Like pine nuts are supposed to come from Italy. They're called pignolis. These are a different breed that sometimes can cause a really bitter uh, taste in your mouth, almost a metallic taste. It actually has, has a syndrome called pine nut syndrome. It can last for days. Art's mom actually had it happen to her. Um, so I would not recommend buying these. You have to buy the real deal from Italy. Look at this, organic coconut milk. Desi and I use a lot of coconut milk. The one issue I have with this brand here is that it has guar gum in it, which if you're sensitive to emulsifiers and gums, it might be a problem. It does make this coconut milk incredibly creamy and rich. Whereas if you buy the one at Trader Joe's, it's the same price. It comes out to about 11 cents an ounce. Look at this art. But at Costco, it separates. The coconut cream separates from the uh, coconut milk. So whichever one you want, it's a great deal here, but it's the same price at Trader Joe's too. Dude, aisle 307 at Costco is where it's at. Let's move on. All right, welcome to the official hipster aisle here. I'm guessing not all Costco's have this, but in Chicago we do. Hemp parts. These are awesome. They have a mild nutty flavor. They're really high in omega-3s, omega-6s, antioxidants, and they actually have more protein than chia seeds. I use them in my quinoa breakfast bowls, but you can also sprinkle them raw on top of yogurt. And the price here is so much better than Trader Joe's. Flax seeds, obviously, really, really good uh, for fiber. Chia seeds. We go through a ton of chia seeds because if you haven't seen our recipes for chia seed pudding with chocolate and uh, mango and cinnamon and no bake granola, it is the bomb. And once again, calcium, omega-3s, protein, and fiber. This stuff is legit. Every morning for breakfast during the week, Monday through Friday, I have a quinoa breakfast bowl that I cook in water and coconut milk, throw in some hemp hearts, some vegan yogurt, nuts, seeds, fruit, raisins, it's the bomb. $2.15 per pound for a four and a half pound bag of quinoa. You cannot beat that price. That is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, that is it, the superfood aisle is done. All right, this is one aisle that just angers me. All of these bull crap supplements and vitamins and fish oils and everything like that. I mean, if you think about the billions of dollars that Americans waste on this stuff, when 90% of it is not even needed. Maybe once in a while, like some vitamin C is good, but like gummies that have sugar, all these different B vitamins. Look at these adult gummies. Like, no, gummies are for kids. Adults should not be eating gummies. We don't need 90% of the stuff in here, yet we waste so much money on that. This kind of stuff infuriates me because just eat good, work out. Don't worry about this joke stuff here. You'd think someone like, Robert Irvine, who's like Mr. Fit, Mr. Healthy. If you were gonna endorse a whey protein bar, it would probably be good, full of really, really good ingredients that make your biceps look like that. But I'm sorry to call you out, Robert, but look at the ingredients in your protein bar. Palm kernel oil, sunflower oil, which is highly processed, sucralose, maltodextrin, what else? Uh, I can't even pronounce. When you can't pronounce half the ingredients, that's a bad thing. So I don't know. Dinner impossible, more like protein bar impossibly disgusting. All right. All right. Mission successful. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, my God. Art is clearly not drinking the Kool-Aid that I'm preaching here. <laughs> not just a hot dog. Hot dog and pepperoni pizza. It's not what you think. <laughs> That's what they all say, Art. It's pretty good. All right, you guys, that is it. The Costco haul is done. We're not leaving until Art finishes his food. Uh, if you wanna get recipes for some of the stuff that we bought, check the description box below. If you wanna see more hauls, like at uh, Trader Joe's, Aldi, maybe online on Amazon, leave a comment, let us know. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, check out the videos going below us. I cannot believe I'm sitting here waiting for Art right now, but we will see you soon. Until then. Hashtag
keep on cooking. Bye.